Odessa in Ukraine is one of the largest ports of the Black Sea, with a handling capacity of 40 million tons of bulk per year. Because of its good road connections to the largest cities in Ukraine and sound infrastructure, Odessa has attracted a wide range of companies to the region. One of them is the Swedish company Escaro, which manufactures water-based paint for the East European markets. Решение на строительство фабрики в Одессе было принято потому, что это наиболее удобное место для строительства вопросов, решается вопрос логистики, наличие морских портов, хорошая коммуникация с всей страной. Escaro has four factories which manufacture 25,000 tons of paints annually in Finland, Estonia, Russia and Belarus. The new factory, which is being built here on the outskirts of Odessa, partly with NEFCO's funding, will double Escaro's overall production to 50,000 tons per year. The focus is on production of water-based paints in closed-cycle production facilities. Основная выгода заключается в том, что краски на водной основе содержат в качестве растворителя воды, и она после того, как краска наносится, испаряется вода в атмосферу. Краски на алкидной основе, на основе white spirit, после высыхания выбрасывают в атмосферу вредную для здоровья, для окружающей среды включение вещества. As long as the production is uh... Uh, efficient, uh, they are able to produce a, a, a better quality paint uh, with less use of uh, hazardous substances, which also means less material. Um, uh, so it should be more economic. So it, it certainly uh, sets an example and others may follow. And then, of course, there's an issue of legislation, which also may be driving other uh, plant manufacturers uh, to follow, if not uh, earlier, later. So uh, hopefully that contributes to the overall improvement of the situation. One of the priorities of the Nordic Environment Finance Corporation is to finance projects which reduce discharges of so-called persistent organic pollutants and toxic substances into the environment. The new factory in Odessa is expected to replace local production of environmentally hazardous paint and thereby reducing the emissions of volatile organic compounds by 870 tonnes per year. These VOCs is a very broad um, uh, group of substances uh, which, are, which evaporate and uh, are both environmentally hazardous uh, because they contribute to um, a low level formation of ozone uh, which is harmful uh, uh, to, 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 to the environment in general. Uh, and, and secondly, also the VOCs uh, are, uh, some of them are extremely hazardous, uh, again, to human health, and, uh, and, and uh, they are carcinogens. Here in Kaluga, some 200 kilometers southwest of Moscow, Russia, Nefco is co-financing another startup project which is intended to produce environment-friendly plastics. Rani Plast, a Finnish company, has invested in a new factory to manufacture plastic film, which will be used as packaging materials in the industrial and agricultural sectors. The biggest advantage is that uh, we are using less energy, we are making uh, thinner films and uh, logistically we are uh, close to our customers, we bring raw materials in, in big quantities and we, we supply the customers uh, from nearby with, uh, with the exact amounts what they want. But the factory also has other environmental advantages. The raw material used by Orani Plast for the manufacture of its plastic products in Russia is polyethylene which is much more environmentally friendly than polyvinyl chloride, or PVC, which is widely used in Russia. PVC is the third largest um, chemical substance that is being produced globally. They have some additives uh, like um, phthalates in order to make them soft, and in other cases 
Um, they, they are uh, additives that are he uh, heavy metals like cadmium, which also are very hazardous to the health. Uh, and, and the phthalates, they, they um, uh, mimic uh, human hormones and, and, and uh, tend to bioaccumulate and cause um, uh, health hazards. The so-called clean tech sector, which refers to the production of goods and services which are less taxing on the environment, is a growing business. In Eastern Europe, the clean tech sector is expected to grow by 6% in 2011. The environment has become hard currency. We have uh, chosen our product segment, segments very carefully. And of course, uh, we want to be the leading supplier in those segments in the future.